hello everyone say hey may may we're back with another step moment and before we even begin um the main two ingredients that we need for this particular stem activity i will definitely say make sure you ask your parents before proceeding we do not want anyone to get in trouble during this time because we do understand that we have a stay at home order and pampers and water are a little valuable right now okay so for some of you you may just need to simply watch uh, myself and Miss May do it and not necessarily do it yourself and that is 100% okay we're gonna walk you through it step by step and you're gonna have this stem magic fun right along with us isn't that right May May as I said two of the main ingredients that you need for this is a pamper or a diaper water does not necessarily matter of the temperature a clear see-through cup and a colored piece of paper so we're using um legal pad because schools are shut down and i took all my construction paper to the school all right and then you will need a pair of scissors so once again make sure that you have parental permission before beginning let's talk about a diaper really quickly may may thankfully never had to wear one um but even when you have puppy training pads and things of that nature you'll notice that they're very thin materials but they're able to absorb they're able to get all this water and not get super big with a pamper or a diaper i keep saying pamper may but with a diaper basically what happens is when a baby has a little accident on him or herself you see all this stuff in the middle it has this little white, these little white, little powdery type substance that actually helps absorb all that water. So it's the very same with puppy training pads, uh, as well as if you have a dog or a fur baby that's really sick, they do have pet diapers as well. Thankfully, May is not in any. So what we're going to do is that we are going to make a incision. So we're going to act like it's surgery and we're going to set those polymers free all right that's what that white substance is called some polymers all right so in this particular diaper i don't know if you can see it but we can tell that there's a different color where they're saying that that's where there's more absorbency all right so you open it up and you'll instantly be able to kind of see those white pieces but this is why we use uh, a colored sheet of paper black is actually best but once again i don't have access i took all my stuff to the school and because we have a stay at home order i am not going to go out um, as much as i kind of want to and run in the stores for construction paper because that's not essential so what you'll notice i'm doing right now and you might can hear it are the little beads of the polymers that they're just falling out of the diaper Oh, man, she's watching. She's like, what's going on here? All right, make sure you don't move the diaper too, too much to where you start getting white fuzz because you don't want the fuzz for this magic trick, okay? All right, so I'm going to cut open another diaper just because I want to show you guys the process again and make sure that everything is a-okay. So once again, here is our diaper. We open it up. We look for that center spot where it has all that good absorbency, where those polymers are. We make a small incision. We peel it back. We see those white little beads, those polymers, and then we turn it over on our paper. Okay, I hear the falling a little bit. Okay, sometimes you might have to take your hand in there, depending on how old the diaper is. Alrighty. So just because I want to make sure I don't get a lot of the little fuzz. So I see that I have a little bit of fuzz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the fuzz. So this is what the fuzz looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it well, but that's what we don't want. We don't want any cotton fuzz all we want are the polymers okay so i have my clear cup 
and I'm going to turn my paper into something like a funnel. All right, you guys see the little polymers going in there? Okay, I found some more fuzz. I'm going to pick the, those fuzzy pieces out. Okay. Oh, I still got a few more left on there. Okay. Once again, getting little fuzzes out. All right. So this is what the polymers look like. All right, Layla, you see these are polymers. Ooh. And it's not at all for eating. All right, so now let's see what happens when we put the water in it. And then you start to squish it around just a little bit and you'll begin to notice, you see that? You'll begin to notice that it's gonna start to gel. All right, so for comparison, let's see, I have a measuring cup right here. For comparison, this is what water looks like when regular water when you just squishing around. Now that it's set for a little bit, so act like this is still in the diaper. Baby has a little accident, goes piddle, and yeah, the baby feels it at first but then after a while after the baby moves and shakes a little bit or even stays still it's going to become gel now of course during that time it is expected that the diaper should be changed but the reason why i say that this is magic is because not at all saying that you should do this during this time especially since we're all cooped in the house together with one another but you technically could run up to somebody and be like hey and act like you're gonna throw water on them and the water is not going to move after a while so as we see already is getting tighter so this is regular water and this is with the polymers in there all right hey may see that's the most that it, it moved if you guys can see it let's see i'm gonna do it like i saw all the makeup people doing for whatever reason they do this and i guess it helps you guys see all right so may she's like wait what all right so this is our stem magic for the day all right once again all you needed was water colored paper scissors and diapers and this clear cup that now you guys hopefully will be able to see it even more it's jelly when you touch it it's almost like melting snow a little bit but just not as wet so we will catch you guys next time